All right, you guys, you know, check out how to make this Garanji Pop Art logo here in Blender. All right, so first I gotta import the logo in an SVG format. So let's go to the file, click on import, and select scalable vector graphics SVG. I'm gonna select the Nike logo, click on import. Let's go and select the logo, it's really small. Press the letter S, scale it up. I'm gonna deselect it, select one of the elements, select all, right click, join, right click again, set origin, geometry to origin. I'm also gonna go to the object to rotate 90 degree angles. Let's go to data. I'm gonna increase the resolution to 30. Let's go to geometry. And let's go and increase the extrusion 0.016. I'm also gonna add a little bit of bevel 0.001. Now let's go and bring this up. We're gonna switch this up to shader editor and switch up the object to world. Let's go and select the background, press control T. And this is gonna add the environment texture nodes. Now, if you don't have the shortcut available, you can go here to the edit, go to preferences, and let's go to add-ons and search for node wrangler. Make sure to activate it and then it should work. Let's go to the environment texture and click on open. And here I'm gonna search for an HDRI light, click on open image, and let's go and activate the render. By the way, for the render, we're gonna go with the simple EV. And we're also going to need to make the background disappear. So let's go here to the world. I'm going to select the background, press Shift plus D to duplicate, bring the world output here, and press Shift plus A and search for mix shader. Enter, bring it in between the nodes. I'm also going to connect this background to the shader. I also search for light path, place it here, and let's connect the camera ray to the factor. And this is going to make the background disappear. You also can switch up the color of the background. So I'm going to make it pink. And it should look something like this. Let's go to the world and switch it to object. Make sure to select the logo and click on the material here at the X and click on the new. Here we're gonna go to the principled, press on delete, press shift plus A search for color ramp. Also search for shader to RGB, search for diffuse. And here I'm gonna connect this to shader, color to factor and color to surface. I'm going to go and click on the minus X. So it's going to show it from the top. And I'm also going to go to the object and rotate it something like this. Now let's go to the color ramp and we're going to change up the linear to constant. And check this out. If I select the white handle and bring it on the left, it is going to bring this really cool contrast. And from here, we're going to, need to mix up the colors and I'm going to go with the white and change it up choose some other color. And as you can see here, the colors are kind of faded. So I'm gonna go here to the render. Now let's go to color management and change up the AGX to Kronos. And now you can see we got vibrant colors. I'm gonna press and hold control again, drag one of the handles, duplicate, change up the color. I'm gonna make this blue. I'm also gonna duplicate the black here and just mix a little bit more in between. And if you go to the object back and if you rotate it a little bit more, you can see how it's going to affect the logo. So just play around with the handles and see what works the best. I'm also going to need to rotate it a little bit. I'm going to split this in half and here I'm going to change it to world. And I'm going to go here to the mapping and I'm going to rotate the Y. And here we got the Z. You also can rotate that. So probably gonna try it out like this. And what you can do is also search for noise texture, add it to the diffuse, connect the color to color. And here I'm gonna increase the scale. I'm gonna scale it all the way up to a thousand. A detail, I'm gonna increase it to 15. I'm also gonna add more roughness and adjust it a little bit more. I'm gonna try to invert it something like this. There you go. And pretty much this is how you do it. Thanks for watching.